So, okay, balik tayo sa ating UML documentation. So, the first UML, ano nga yung UML? UML? Okay, Unified Modeling Language. So, bale, ito yung mga, ito, ang UML is yung ginagamit siya for graphical, again, graphical representation of the processes inside your system. So, natapos na tayo sa use case narrative. Ito siya. Although yung use case narrative, hindi siya, uh, hindi siya graphical but textual representation, but it's, it is still part of the UML. We also have the activity diagram. Yung activity diagram, basically, pinapakita niya, uh, pinapakita niya, yung step-by-step uh, step ng process ng isang use case uh, using the symbols na meron siya like the black circle, encircled black circle, yung rounded rectangle. So, every symbol in that diagram has uh, has its certain function. For example, yung black circle, ano ibig sabihin ng black circle? Okay, initial, initial nod or which shows the uh, start of the process. Okay? So, yun siya. Okay. So, ito siya, activity and the use case narrative, ang dinis-display natin din na process is isang process lang. Di ba? For example, na login, na login lang. Then, yung kung logout, na logout lang. Kung sign up, sign up lang. Gito. So, bale, for the next diagram that we're going to talk about is, hindi na siya magtotalk ng uh, sa sa na process this time this diagram will represent the whole system makikita dito kung ano yung mga processes na pwedeng gawin ng isang actor sa loob ng isang system ano yung interaction ng isang actor na pwedeng niyang gawin sa loob ng system so first we have this ang tawag natin doon is uh, use case diagram so we call it the use case diagram Don't be confused with the use case narrative. Again, narrative is textual representation. The use case diagram models the interaction between the system and its external entities in terms of use cases. So, bale, uh, external entities, yung actor. So, kung sino yung pwedeng mag, uh, gumawa ng action. Then, ano yung pwedeng niyang gawin sa loob ng system? Yun yung mga use cases. So, basically, a use case represents the steps in a specific business Uh, function or process. Again, ano yung use case? How do we identify a use case? Ano yung use case? Ah? Ano yun? Ano, ano, ano? Ah? Yun, functional requirement. The services that you have to do sa loob ng system. Ibig sabihin, sa use case diagram, makikita mo doon kung ano yung mga functionalities ng isang system. For example, if ito uh, Instagram, gagawa ka ng use case diagram ng Instagram, makikita mo doon kung ano yung pwede mong gawin. Like, for example, ano mga features or functions ng Instagram? Sign up, log in, log out, post photo from gallery, post photo from camera, post video from gallery, post video from camera, ano pa? View profile, view follower list, view following list, view explore, explore, search, yun. Yun yung mga functionality na kailangan nga sa Instagram. So, those are the use cases that you can find in Instagram. Okay. So, we'll create an, so to create the use case diagram, to create the use case diagram, kailangan natin gumamit ng mayroon tayong tinatawag na Business rules. Ano yung business rules? Basically, the processes sa loob ng isang system, may business rules yan, di ba? But for example, na Iberto, Iberto, pag in Iberto sa inventory system, hindi mo sasabihin na nabenta mo yung isang bagay kung wala kang receipt, di ba? So, considered na sold ng isang item kapag may, re may receipt. So, that is, that is a business rule. Hindi pwedeng sabihin ng isang bagay na may pesa kung walang Receipt. Okay? Yun. Next, ano pa? For example, kung hindi ka makakabili ng isang bagay kung wala kang purchase order. So, that is that is a business rule. Basically, na yung business rule na yan yung mga specific functionalities na ginagawa sa isang organization. So, you have to follow those uh, rules na sa isang organization para, kumbaga na, para ma-follow so, uh, flow ng isang organization. Data na akik. Pero nasa akin, sa enrollment, 
Pwede ka bang mag-enroll ng Pwede ka bang mag-enroll ng uh, hindi ka nakapag-clearance? Bef ngayong time, yes. Pero last last time hindi, di ba? So usually you have to uh, Pwede ka bang ma-enroll ng hindi ka na-admit sa system? Hindi, di ba? So you have to uh, be registered muna or ma-admit as a student before you can before you can be enrolled. So those are those are business rules. For example, sino ang pwedeng mag-enroll dito sa akin? Nang estudyante. Ken, oh, yun ang estudyante. Sino ang pwedeng mag-enroll? Yung I mean, sinong tao? Sinong actor? Enrolling officer, di ba? Di ba sa mga by department, mayroon tayong enrolling officer. Yung mayroon tayong instructor na enrolling officer, di ba? So, sila yung pwede mag-enroll ng isang estudyante. Sino pa ang pwede? The registrar. So, another business rule to. The registrar can also enroll a student. That is also a business rule. For example, ako, instructor ako from DCS. Ako rin ang enrolling officer ng DCS. Pwede ba akong mag-enroll ng accountancy student? Hindi. That is also a business rule. Ang pwede lang mag-enroll ng isang estudyante coming to this department is yung instructor na coming from the same department. Pero si registrar, pwede ba siya mag-enroll ng kahit sino? Yes, that is also a business rule. So, ganun ang example ng mga business rule. Yun ang pag-based no, sa ating use case diagram. So, I'll show you a simple business rule na paggagawa natin ng ating uh, example. Okay, so, we're going to create an example of a use case diagram. Gagawa tayo ng use case diagram based on this specific uh, based on this specific business rule. So, to create, to create a use case diagram, kayo mismo, you have to create your business rules. But since we're going to create one system lang para sa lahat, I will provide you with the use case, eh, the business rules. Ako ang mag-provide ng business rules, then you have to create the use case diagram. Okay? So, this is an example na ng business rules. So, gagawa tayo ng use case diagram based on this. So, bale, the library system, ang first na business rule that we have is the library system is a book inventory system with users. Ang head librarian at saka assistant librarian. So, bale, sila daw ang actor sa system. So first we have to draw the system. So kate na lagay dito system. Yan. So kailan natin i-draw ang system? So this rectangle yan. This represents the system. So kailan na lagay diyan no? So you have to put the name library information system. So bali you have to put the name. So bali yang rectangle ano ang re rectangle? It represents the system. system. Iba yung pan, rounded rectangle, okay? So, this, this, yan, yan. It represents the system. So, ibig sabihin, kung anong man ang nasa loob nito, na yun yung mga functionalities ng system. So, ang first business room na mayroon tayo, sabi niya, is the library system, is a book inventory system with users, head librarian, and assistant, uh, Librarian. So, mayroon tayong dalawang actor. So, i-drag mo yung actor. Yan. Pangalan na natin ng head. Librarian. Yan. Papangalan natin siyang head librarian. Then, isa pang actor. Si assistant librarian. Yan. So, bale. Ayan. So, first rule is, ang system daw natin is a library information system. Nakalagay sa ating uh, library system is a book and vendor with users. Yan. Nakalagay dyan. So, see? What's wrong with you, mouse? Yan. Head librarian, assistant librarian. So, when we look at this one, library information system, assistant librarian, head librarian. So, anong gagawin, anong gagawin natin next? Bale, ito sila, sila, silang dalawa, ang actor, sila yung nakikipag-interact with the system. That's why nasa labas sila, hindi sila nasa loob. Okay? Hindi sila nasa loob. 
Next, 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 next business rule. Next business rule that we have is that all users can log in in the system. From there, they can also change password and log out of the system. So, lahat daw ng users, si head library at si assistant library, pwede silang mag-login. So, lagyan natin dito ng login. So, again, laging tandaan, verb, ha? Verb, login. So, anong pangalan ng use case? Yun ang ilalagay natin dyan. Login, yan. So, um, sino daw pwede mag-login? Lahat sila, di ba? So, we'll put association. So, bali, ito ang use case. Gaya sa use case. Gaya na system, then gaya na actor. Then, we'll put association. Ito na yung association. Yung relationship ng actor with the use case. Ito rin. Relationship niya with the use case. Ayan. So, pwede sila lahat mag-login. So, yan. Connected sila na dua. Ang sabi doon is, ang sabi sa ating business rule is that uh, from there, they can also change password and log out of the system. Galing na sa pagka-login. Ibet na malagin sila na from there, pwede silang mag, mag-log out at saka change password. Okay? So, we'll uh, maglalagay tayo dito na another use case. Then, change password. Yan. Then, log out. Yan. So, galing dyan, pwede na sila mag-change password at saka maglalog out. So, ano sa connection? Kaya, ibig sabihin, galing sa login, pwede silang mag uh, change password at saka mag log out ngayon ano yung relationship is it between the head librarian and the use cases or use cases to use cases okay use cases to use cases ibig sabihin galing sa login pwede silang mag change password at saka mag log out okay sino bang naka take 2 nang 1 IT31 mayroon mang take 2 dito nang IT31 wala pa mang basta next no Ay, hindi. Ikaw alin ako parang hindi ka ba take, take something dito? Ah, 21. Nandar ka ba sa akin sa 21? Ah, wala. 41. Dapat? Bakit parang nare-remember kita? <laughs> Ewan ko, pero nare-remember kita. Pili ka na may student sa somewhere. Anyway, so, we have to show the relationship between the use cases. So, ano ang relationship between the use cases? The relationship between use cases is shown by dependency. Ito ang tinatawag natin na shown by dependency. Ang tawag natin dun is dependency. It identifies kung ano ang communication between the use cases. Ngayon, since pwede ka daw maggaling ki login, pwede ka daw mag-change password at saka log out, Ang gagamitin natin na dependency is yung tinatawag natin na extend dependency. Extend. So, ito siya. Extend. Asan manggagaling ang extend? Manggagaling dito kay login. Bakit manggagaling kay login? Kasi sabi doon, from there. Galing kay login, pwede kang mag-change password. Then, galing daw kay login, pwede kang mag-log out. Yan. Tanggalin ko lang tong extension point na nagpapakita kasi na pinapakita niya na mayroong nakakonect sa kanya so tanggalin lang natin 'yan. Eh, uh, ayaw kong ipakita ang extension point 'yan. So, palitin ko lang 'to. 'Yan. So, may pansin niyo so line, the line, the line. Oh, tingnan niyo ang line. Uh, yung at saka yung arrow. The arrow uh, Yung arrow, nakaharap kay login. Ang ibig sabihin nito, extend. Extend, ibig sabihin, may option ka, galing sa login, may option ka na mag-change password at saka mag-log out. Pero hindi necessarily na pwede gagawin mo yun. For example, na maka, maka-login ka, pag naka-login ka, na hindi ibig sabihin na once na maka-login ka, na pag-log out ka, na pag-change password ka, hindi. Ang ibig sabihin ng extend dependency is, optional siya. Pag nakalagin ka, may option ka na mag-change password, at saka may option ka na mag-log out. Niya gets? Okay. 
Ang pagdraw ng extension point or extended dependency, ang pagdraw is galing sa mother use case. Ito ang mother use case kasi nagal ito ang kumbaga na yan ang boss nila, di ba? Ito ang child use case itong dalawa. Bakit sila ang child use case? Kasi na uh, magagawa lang nila to after nila yes, after nila magawa ang login. So ibig sabihin na si login ni mother use case. So yung extension point galing kay login, yung pagdodraw is galing kay login papunta kay change password. Di ka no maribat kasi na kapag maribat ka no, if you draw it nang pabaliktad ganito ang mangyayari yan oh which is mali para oh click mo na yung, hindi click mo lang to yung extend oh diretso na so katulad nito this is mali kasi na kung ganito yung nangyari oh naka yung arrow naka point kay change password then uh, naka connect kay login parang sinasabi niya na Kapag nakapag-change password ka, may option ka na mag-login. Parang yun ang sinasabi niya, which is? Mali. Mali, di ba? So, mali. So, be careful, be very careful kung saan nyo dinadraw yung arrow. May gets? Okay. Control Z, yan. So, be very, very careful of the, uh, yung pagdadraw ng uh, extension points. So, galing, be sure na you, Kung saan yung mother use case, yun ang first you point to the mother use case, papunta doon sa child use case. Okay? So, yan. So, balit tapos na si uh, ito. Tapos na. So, okay. Next is all users can view the list of books. They can also add, edit, remove. Uh, add, edit, remove, and view. Ito, tatanggalin ko tong remove ha. Bawal tayo mag-remove sa system. Yan. Edit and view book directly from the list of books. View book, view book, view book. <laughs> uh, all users can view the list of books. Lahat daw ng user pwede mag-view ng list of books. They can also add, edit, and view book directly from the list of the books. Ibig sabihin, pwede siyang mag-view ng individual profile ng book daw. Individual profile galing sa view list of books. So, the same thing ang gagawin natin. Again, tatawagin ko si use case. Ayan. So, sabi niya, lahat ng users pwede mag-view ng list of books. So, view list of... Pwede rin lagay niyo na book list. Ayan. View book list para mas magagawin. So, napansin niyo lahat. Again, sabi ko nga lahat sila. Verb. Starts with the verb. Change password, verb, log out, verb, log in, verb, view book list, verb. Okay? So again, we'll write an association. Hmm, yan. So ito, pwede mong i-adjust, adjust lang. Yan. Oo. Adjust, adjust mo lang yan ng ganyan. Para ka... Pwede rin tong ganito, ganyanin. Yo, yan. So, view book list Then, the same key Assistant librarian Pwede natin yun gawin Yan So, yan View book list Galing daw dyan Again, galing dyan Anong pwede nilang gawin? Add, edit, and View book directly From the list of books Gusto ko rin dagdagan to eh. Instead na, one and search. Yan. Add, edit, search, and view book directly. Yan, search. Pwede rin silang mag-search. Gusto ko lagyan ng search. Yan. So, bali, ano, yan ang pwede niyang gawin. Then, ano pang pwede kong ilagay dito? Uh, para bukatas. They're searching a book. All actors can directly. After searching a book, all actors can directly view a single view, view a book. Get it Okay. After searching a book, all actors can directly view a uh, book. Okay. They can directly view a book. Okay. 
So after daw niya maka-search, pwede niyang tingnan yung book na sinearch niyan. Parang something like that. Okay? So view book list, add, search, at saka edit again. Maglagay tayo ng use case. Add book. You have to specify kung anong i-add niya. Then, edit book. 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 Then, sige, search muna. Search book. Search book. Then, ano pa? Okay, view book. Ayan. So, ayan. Again, anong lalagay natin dito na dependency? Again, extend dependency galing key. Galing key. View book list. Yan, galing dyan. I-draw muna natin lahat ng extension point. Yan. Hey, baka tas, tas, besh. Yan. Okay. Extend. Hmm. Yan. Ang galing ko itong extension points. Come on, men. Yan. Presentation. Yan. Then, edit natin to. Ayun. Yan. Sa bale, medyo ano pa kayo sa Binsaya. Oh, come on. Yan. Yan. Then, edit. Itong si edit na siyang parabayaki. Ganyan. Then, itong si view, dito ko ilalagay sa gitna dito. Yan. Medyo... Ah, yeah. Z. Yan na. Napiandong na. Yan. Then, dito. Ayun. Extend. Yan. Extend. Medyo ano yung pakawatan ng konti para kilay. Ayun. This one, itong isang extend, gali, ito, para, galing dyan. Okay? Ito namang isang extend dito. Yan. Clear ba? Yes. Yeah. Clear. Okay. So, galing kay view book list, pwede kang mag-add book, edit book, view book, at saka search book. Pero mayroong additional rule na nakalagay. After searching a book, all actors can directly view a book. Sabi niya, uh, pag naka-search ako ng book, pwede, pwede kong i-view ang individual book details. Ibig sabihin, ibig sabihin, natin na ibig sabihin ito? From search book. From? Galing sa search book, ito. Extension point. Okay. So, sino ang mother, sino ang mother use case dyan? Between search book and view book? Si search book ang uh, mother use case. So, yan. Ano nga, Raki? Control Z. Control Z. Yan. Extension point. Oh, my God. Yan, click. Control Z. Control Z. Ah, okay. Sige, extension point. Presentation option. Hmm. Show extension point. Then, yan. Then ito, i-adjust lang natin to. System. Yan. Yan. So, bali. Ayun. So, ginatan yan. So, see the arrow. Kapag naka-extension point ka, Basta extension dependency, extended dependency, basta extended dependency na yung arrow na laging nakaharap kay mother use case. Okay? Katulad nito, nakaharap dito yung, nakaharap dito ka sa search book yung, uh, nakaharap dito sa search book yung arrow. Yung matutulog dyan, pwede nang lumabas, 
patrug ba sa library o sa bahay? Because that is very rude. Sana nag-online na lang kayo. Di ba? Okay, so next. So nagawa na natin yung nakalagay dito sa uh, number three. Okay. So this one, the next uh, rule that we have, only the head librarian can view the list of users' account. He or she can also add and view accounts directly from the list of user accounts. But he or she can only edit user accounts after viewing a certain user account independently. Big sabihin, pwede ka daw mag-edit after mong mag-view yung isang account. For example, nabit, may view ako sa profile. Pwede ko lang lang i-edit ang profile lang to after ko siya nakita. Hindi ko siya pwede i-edit kapag hindi ko pa nakikita yung uh, profile. So, giti po minyan san. So, only the head librarian can view the list of accounts. Okay, so... Si head librarian lang daw ang Okay, so list of user accounts So view user account list Yan So bali si Okay, association lang galing kay uh, libra Head librarian Yan So sa kanya lang galing ang association Then galing daw kay view user account list galing daw kay view user account list pwede siyang mag uh, add uh, view accounts directly from the list of user accounts add and view lang so add and view is case uh, add user account add user account ay now Add user account. Yan. Account. Yan. Then, ano yung next na pwede niyang gawin? Mag-view. Dito ko ito ilalagay, ha? Yan. Pa, tapos, dito, view user account. Okay. View user account. Yan. So, bali again, extended dependency galing kay user, user account list. Yan. Then, another extended uh, one galing dito kay view, view user account. Yan. So, again, presentation. Uh, option. Then, show extension point. No. Yan. So, extend, extend, ayan. Hindi ko na-arrange yung extend, ha? Ayan. So, bale, ang sabi doon next is, pwede kang mag, uh, sabi niya, pwede kang mag, uh, edit, edit, uh, a user account after viewing a certain user account independently. So, pwede ka lang daw mag-edit after mag-view nga sa user account. So, oo, oh, oh. so ito, use case, lalagay tayo ng edit, Okay, edit user account. That is edit user account. Yan. Edit user account. So, bale, itong si edit user account, uh, itong si edit user account, magagawa mo lang daw siya after mo mag-view yung certain user account independently. So, ibig sabihin, uh, isa siyang kailangan niya ng association with the actor yung si head uh, like one, kasi na, hindi sinabi kung nakakonnected siya kay view user account list di ba? hindi niya sinabi na nakakonnected siya kay view user account list sabi lang doon, kailangan pag mag edit ka na kailangan na may view nga so user account so ibig sabihin na si user account na separate uh, use case kwan so Kailangan mo siyang i-associate. Sinong pwede gumawa niyan? Si? Head librarian lang. So, you have to create another 
association okay head libra okay user ganyan okay edit user account uh, wait lang so bale anong anong question this is an action. So, basabi niya, makinig lang muna. Uh, so, ito yung sinasabi natin. Si edit user account, pwede kang mag-edit ng user account daw. Kasi from this from this business rule, makita ni, pumakinig lang, pumakinig lang si, uh, si business rule, yung pag edit ng user account is a mother account. Mother use case. Oh, oh. Si Sibig sabihin, before ka mag-edit, kailangan mo nang kailangan mo nang i-view. Si Sibig sabihin, there is a relationship between si edit user account at saka si view user account. In this in this situation, si relationship iran, sino ang mother use case? Si edit user account, hindi si view user account kasi sabi doon, pwede kang mag-edit after mo ma-view. So aya, mother use case na si edit. So uh, galing kay edit user account mayroon tayong tinatawag na include dependency galing, so laman, kinilikangan yung include, then galing dito kay edit user account, draw natin dyan papunta kay uh, view user account so nakita, nakita ninyo iba ang nakasulat, include hindi extend baba uh, yeah. come on, come on Yan. So nakita niyo nakalagay include hindi extend. The arrow, the arrow direction nakaharap kay view user account. Pero this time, ang mother use case is si edit user account. The only the only reason na nakaharap yung arrow kay view user account is because include. Ang ibig sabihin niyan, ang ibig sabihin ng include dependency is that before mo gawin, before mo gawin si mother use case, before you can do the edit of user account, kailangan mo muna tong gawin. Ibig sabihin, compulsory. Compulsory na mag-view ka ng user account before ka mag-edit ng user account. Nya gets? So, gitin bidaan ni include dependency at saka si extend dependency. Nya gets? Kung dito ang linagay natin sa business rule, ibet na tayo tano kung business rule na uh, uh, after viewing a user account, an actor has an option to edit the user ac edit the user account uh, edit the user account. Nang magalit mangyari dito na ng arrangement, magiging uh, baliktad ang arrow, then gagawin nating extend. Uh, sino magiging mother use case on that time? Si view user account siya ang magiging mother. So, sa, sa rule na binigay ko, just to show you ano, pa, paano gamitin yung include, that's why binaliktad ko. Yeah, gets? So, bali, before mo gawin si edit user account, pwede kang, kailangan mo munang i-view si user account. Yeah, gets? Okay. So, naubos na ba? Tapos na. Yan lang. Okay, pero hindi pa tayo tapos. Okay. Ngayon, meron tayong tinatawag sa I-review muna natin na Mayroon tayong tinatawag na system Which is represented by the rectangle Then The actors represented by these Actor symbols Then we have association The relationship between the actor And the use case We also have this Which is called the use case Itong mga oblong The use case or the functionalities na pwedeng gawin ng actor Inside the system then we also have the uh, dependency, 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 which shows the relationship between use cases. So first, dependency is the depend extended uh, dependency, which shows that, um, which shows that, uh, uh, which shows an option, diba? It shows that from the mother use case, you have an option to do the to do the child use case na connected or kanyan. Okay? So, next is we have the uh, include uh, dependency. The include dependency shows that before you can do the mother use case, you have to do the child use case first. Okay? Mia gets? 
Okay. Ngayon, we have another we have another part na ginagamit dito sa ating use case diagram. Mayroon tayong tinatawag na generalization. Generalization. The generalization basically shows the relationship of the actor, uh, the relationship between actors or among uh, actors. So, ang generalization shows the relationship between or among actors. So, ang real, ano ang relationship ni assistant uh, at saka ni head librarian? Basically, the relationship ni assistant librarian is that sino mas may malaking power? Si head librarian, di ba? So, makita nyo, lahat ng nakalagay sa loob ng system, lahat yung pwedeng gawin ni head librarian. Samantalang si uh, assistant librarian, limited hanggang dito lang siya. Sa mga view book list, di ba? Diyan lang siya, right? Ngayon, o pag ka, kung sa mathematics pa to, na si head librarian, na subset yan si uh, assistant librarian, di ba? Miyakan yan sa functionality eh. Uh, okay, nakain niya Ibig sabihin, kung ano man ang pwedeng gawin ni assistant librarian Kayang gawin ni head librarian, di ba? Ngayon, pwede natin tong tanggalin Yan Ito rin, pwede natin tanggalin yan Yan uh, Okay, may doon? Yes Okay, yan lang So, bale, lahat ng pwedeng gawin ni assistant librarian Pwedeng gawin ni Uh, head librarian, so we draw an uh, generalization line, ito click mo yan galing kay assistant librarian i-draw mo yung araw papunta kay head librarian okay, so itas natin Yan, happy 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 bio. Kerasa itu. Nah, balik. Bik saya bingko. Yang iba kelibuk siranon si ko arrow. Basically, the arrow. Kung ano, yang ibik saya bingung arrow is lahat. Kung ano man, ang pweding gawin ni assistant librarian, kaya ang gawin ni head librarian. Okay. So, gitu mininya. Nabe sa functionality head librarian, ibi bigay ki arrow. Hindi. Kung ano man ang meron sya. Ganun. Parang kukunin, then pagulong na taro to. Parang ito yung symbolism yan. Parang katla dito sa aging mga dependency. Okay? So, di ka nakalibog ko arrow niya na. Lagi, draw the, draw the, draw the arrow. Draw, draw the arrow in such a way na galing si ko. Kawan, galing si ko panggagalingan. So, may get sa generalization line? Depende. O, oh, depende. Usually, mayroon pa mga system na lima. O, ay, lalagay mo din sa, gili, sa kilid. Nagiging rectangle na po, kalala na ka. Yung generalization ka pa kayo galing sa ibang, but for example, pwedeng dalawang actors lang yung may generalization. Yung iba, na iba din yung generalization nila. Ganun. O, oh, depende. So basically, may pasad, ginambu. Yan lang ang ating use case diagram. So pinapakita dito, this use case diagram shows all the functionality sa loob ng isang library information system. Ito, na may toya library information system. The only users is the assistant librarian at the head librarian. Kung palalakihin pa natin yan, na malalagyan na, for example, ng student, pwede siyang mag-borrow uh, ng book. Oo, borrow ng book, request to borrow a book, return a book. So, idadagdag mo dyan si student. Si student din, kailangan din mag-log in, mag-log out, change password, di ba? So, idadagdag natin dyan si student. So, this one is a very small... Example, okay? Ya gets? Okay. So if na gets a picture,
copy yo ay now ay na bebe besh minum mar bin besh so ke pa bit ya dai wala siyang watermark kasi na isa lang isa lang yung use case diagram na nakalagay doon kung dalawa yung use case na nakalagay doon na ka watermark kan ayun sige picture din yung 